Well, like I mentioned in our video from a couple weeks ago with the uh, shop barbecue, Dylan and I bought another car for Checkpoint. And uh, before I excite you too much with everything you see in the background behind me, our car is way shitter than this. But yeah, this is uh, our buddy Andrew's shop. Uh, Andrew has been in the car business for a really long time and a portion of that business decades ago was him uh, doing uh, JDM cars. That's actually where Jake's JZX90 came from. And he's got a big inventory of Japanese cars with just a you know, small chunk of it behind me here. But he knew that Dylan and I were uh, wanting to get into drifting. We were thinking about different platforms that we could you know, effectively get at a low cost and uh, stay kind of in that Japanese car realm. And uh, he, he knew what we were looking for and he actually had sort of like the perfect option for us at his lot, sent us some photos of it. We saw it, came, checked it out, and we just decided to buy it right away without even like really thinking about logistics. We just bought the car. So first drive in the new whip. What's going on? We're going? We're, we're, oh, I'm drifting guys. This is my moment. I'm going so fast. This is it. This is uh, our 2003 Infiniti G35 sedan drift car that we just bought. Yeah, it's uh, it's already been manual swapped. It's an interesting chassis for us on the channel. I know like the G35 isn't necessarily the most popular car in the world when it comes to like JDM this and style that. This car, especially being a sedan, is like the best low cost way to get into drifting a Japanese car that's still gonna be competitive, still gonna have lots of aftermarket support, lots of junkyard support if we break stuff. Yeah, so it's gonna be, you know, cool real wheels that are fitted up. It's gonna be super low. We're gonna do some aero and a whole bunch of other style stuff. And we've already amassed a, a pretty, pretty substantial collection of parts that we're gonna be putting on the car already. We actually got most of the parts before we even got the car. So, um, okay, so this car is, the basic VQ35DE makes like, you know, 240 or 250 horsepower. And then um, as far as the transmission goes, it was originally an automatic car that has been swapped to being manual with the CD, uh, six speed manual transmission. Uh, that transmission is actually in the trunk of the car right now because the clutch burned out when Andrew had it at a drift event. So we've got to do a clutch job and get it in the car. Like I mentioned a moment ago, it's got a welded diff in it already and a bunch of the bushings have been redone. So this car is sort of uh, set up in a way that once we get that transmission back in with the clutch that's on its way to us already, uh, we should have like a pretty effective platform to get started on. I'm just, I'm excited because we're just trying to be humble and like learn something because we're definitely going to be really bad until we're not so bad and then we're going to be a little better and then, you know, keep working at it and keep working at it and hopefully we end up becoming like okay at this. And uh, at the same time, as we build our skills uh, at the track, we're hoping we continue to build this car and make this car into something that's like cool and visually stimulating and exciting as well, so. I'm trying to figure out why in 2003, there's still a tape deck. I'm not against it, but like, didn't we get past the tape deck era in 2003? I guess the plan is to take this back, put the transmission in it, find the nearest intersection and fucking run over anyone that's there. And then maybe even like throw some gasoline on the ground, light it up on fire, shoot an AK up in the air. Possibility are endless, man. So I was doing some reading online. 21550, probably a good size for running over people. That's just what I read on forums. We're trying to get this thing ready, hit people in intersections. All right, Dylan, fire up. It is day one of the G35 build. Uh, today it's actually just me and the trusty tripod. Milo's gonna be showing up soon to help me get that transmission back in the car. But uh, in a couple days, Dylan's gonna be back from his well-earned vacation and we're gonna be doing all the styling stuff. But for now, uh, it's just me and the tripod and we're gonna go and get that car inside the shop on a lift and ready for the transmission to go back in. And not to mention, quick reminder, we just finished up doing our drop. So all of this inventory is live now. Uh, all these crazy jackets that you see, you can hop on our website and get those. Some cool sweaters, some cool t-shirts from Japan as well. More jackets over here. 
whole bunch of hats, steering wheels. We got this, this uh, Sparco seat for sale along with a bunch of different harness options. And of course we still have the Holy Grail collection of all the Grex, the Gretty Grex shift knobs, truss knobs, impull knobs, and the like. So Dylan and I went crazy the other night, reorganized all of our storage stuff. So all of our inventory is here. Here's a couple of the goodies that we've got. They're gonna be going on this car. We've got uh, a Cube Speed short shifter kit, courtesy of our good friends at Cube, as well as this super cool product up here. The good guys over at Cube Speed are now in the business of making coilovers. And uh, so they sent us these coilovers to try it on the G35, and we're gonna give you guys our honest thoughts and what we think of the cube speed coilovers but if they're anything like their short shifter kits they're gonna be good and dylan and i beat up a dodge ram owner and stole his wheel spacers all right we got all the transmission parts clutch kit in so we can replace the pride clutch that was in this car We got chalky milk. Gives me all my protein and vitamins for the day here. I was hoping we'd drive the G35 out of here tonight under its own power, but we ended up running out of hardware and it's late, so all the stores are closed. Clutch, flywheel, all that stuff is in, starters in, transmission is basically fitted up. Yeah, we need to get the transmission mount put in, we need to put the cross member back in, then we gotta bleed the clutch, and then we can get started on putting in some of the uh, aesthetic stuff that we're so excited to do. All right, it's day two of working on the G. Dylan's back from holidays today, so, uh, We're doing everyone's favorite high horsepower modification. Whoa, well, that's cold. <laughs> we need to put a shifter in the car and we're not gonna do the stock one. Cube Speed, who you may have seen in the video with Milo Supra and my S14, uh, have sent us another short shifter kit, so it should fit what we're doing with this car perfectly. One of the studs is spinning and it's not the lug. So the lug nut's not coming off. It's just the stud in the hub is just spinning. So oh, we're trying to figure out how. It's so annoying. We're trying to figure out how to get it out. So. Dylan's run off to the parts store to get more wheel studs because we broke one on the back and there was actually already a broken one. That's not safe because we're gonna be running some spacers to fit our wheels correctly. So we wanna make sure that we've got good wheel studs in there. Uh, so yeah, Raul's pulling the back end apart so we can put new studs in when they come back. And for now, I'm just gonna be dropping these front control arms so I can get the stock suspension out and then get our new coilovers in. So yeah, I guess we're never gonna actually drive this car on this janky lowering spring bullshit setup and we're just gonna see how it is on the cube speed coilovers. Now get a lug nut and pull that through. Uh, Horsepower. Oh man. That's sick. Good design. We've got three corners done, one more corner to go. Miles is in the car right now putting the Cube Speed short shifter kit in. We already know that's gonna be awesome because we've run them in two different cars and they've been great. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to actually road test this car and see how these coilovers ride because I've definitely been in a lot of cars with dog shit coilovers and cars with really nice coilovers and I think like it'll be pretty clear right away how these shape up. It's tight and it's good. It's got a little bearing at the bottom, which is really neat, which I haven't seen before. Most of them are just a bushing, so props to Cube Speed for doing that. I like this thing. You're rolling. 
forward there. Yep. And backwards. We got a Christmas tree, which is sweet. It's got like every single light on on the dash because it's like missing an entire automatic transmission. And like somebody's gone and hoked around with the wheel speed sensors in this car so they could make it do hoon stuff. So it always thinks it's going zero kilometers an hour. When in reality, we're gonna be hitting 110 mile an hour entries. It's gonna be sweet. the front end like I don't know three quarters of an inch half an inch Paul drove it around the lot it's way better now it doesn't bang and smash and everything and it just like just barely clears the fenders at full lock and it still looks pretty okay too so I think that's the height for now we still got to figure out something for the back but uh, I'm gonna pull the seats out so we can put the, the brids back in it or, or into it we can put the brids in the car and then uh, steering wheel rear bumper maybe the trunk with the trunk wing and then we'll go get a car wash and Make it look not shit. Yeah, I've run like pretty shit coilovers for most of my life. This is like kind of a big upgrade. When it hits bumps, it doesn't feel so violent. It corners really nicely. It's stiff, but also not like too stiff. I, I think they're great. Still really want the back to be lower, a decent bit lower than this, but like that front ride height is like pretty decent. Like yeah, we're able to turn like the steering wheel all the way left and all the way right and still have like a credit card gap between the top was... of the tire and the fender. It's uh, day three of working on the G35, and as you can see, I am very low to the ground in this car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely exaggerating it just a little bit. Like, I could move the seat up a hair, I could sit upwards a little bit more, but like, for all intents, I am very low in this car. Not today, but soon, we're gonna have to figure that out and bring the seat up a little bit, either different rails or make something custom. But today, uh, we're gonna get rid of this ugly stock steering wheel, we're gonna put a different steering wheel in the car, we're gonna fix up and replace a bunch of the interior plastics, make the interior a bit cleaner. Hopefully we can roll the rear fender. I mean, the fitment's not good, but like it's got such a big lip on the fender that it is colliding with the tire, which is like really lame considering we're not even that low in the back. If all that goes smoothly, we're probably gonna change out the rear trunk lid, put uh, a different trunk lid that we have that has an OEM spoiler on it on the car. So uh, hopefully that's sort of just like V1 of this car and then we get to pick away at it and uh, make it better and then take it to a drift event sometime early in the new year.
five needs a knob, we're stealing from our own supply. We need to figure out which one's gonna fit though, because I'm not sure what thread the cube speed knob is. So I think we're gonna go with this one because it is pretty and it kind of matches the car. This is uh, Greddy Grex. Oh, this is so funny, dude. I didn't even think about this. They all have a five speed shift pattern on them. That's okay. That's so whack. Is that not whack? No. Are you sure it's not whack to put a five speed shift net pattern car on a six speed manual car? What are you gonna forget? Good point. Put that nice pretty knobber on there. We drifting in reverse, baby. Dude, six gear doesn't even exist. Yeah, we're gonna put this ATC sprint wheel in the uh, G35. It matches the seats a little bit because it's blue. Blue, let's go put this in. spring all the way down to get that extra inch or so to get the car to sit nice and flush. All right, that's a wrap for this video. You've seen it now. This is our new car for the channel. We're building a G35, probably the least expected chassis that you guys ever would have guessed us to do a build on. But hopefully you like what we've done so far and you're excited for what we're gonna accomplish with this car in the future. I'm super stoked to get out to the track and just see like, you know, what it takes to learn how to drift. I know Dylan's excited about that as well. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for supporting what we're doing with Checkpoint. We really appreciate all the likes, comments, everything on the videos, all you guys that you know hit our store and buy some of our merch or the stuff that we import from Japan, that's super sweet. And uh, yeah, go buy a keychain.